Hello, I am the living cat. And I, uh, I'm I like trains. <laughs> Was that an aneurysm? What? Yes. <laughs> and welcome back to Do Dweebs Play Minecraft. We tried, uh, recording this earlier, but we lost the footage due to some bad audio. So what, in the mean, while we were doing that, we set up, up our auto miner, who is down there somewhere. Just chilling. Yeah. And we also added a second form of power generation. And in the form of that windmill up there. In this episode, we're starting off. We're going to be trying to build a factory, or at least the beginnings of it. We've already laid out the a foundations for it. However, what we want, we're going to want a builder's wand to make things a bit easier. Yes. The building gadgets is just a bit. It's takes energy and is a bit expensive. To craft it, we actually need four level experience levels for magical wood. Four magic, four experience levels plus per crafting. And I got 10. Perfect. So you take two and two gold. And we'll craft some up. And then we uh, then. Take another gold and we put it on the end. And we got a builder wand. Oh, yeah. Now how does this work? Oh. So if you have a certain block in your inventory, it'll detect that block and build for you. That's how a builder's wand works. Alright, let's head on over to the build site. Yeah. Alright, so this is a build site. I've, I've gone ahead and laid out the foundations. And we're just starting off for a workshop. That sort of deal, instead of a full blown factory. <laughs> We also changed our plan of ha instead of having it south of the rail line, we're doing it north and have it expand south. Yeah. We're also gonna have the rail line tunnel through the factory, which yeah. will be very interesting. However, that's in the far future. Yeah. What we need to do now is actually build this thing.
And of course, being us, we we did not come prepared again. God. I mean, that's why it's called two dweebs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take right. those. Use the big stone bricks. Big stone bricks. The standard vanilla ones, I should say. Oh, yeah, I see. And you want these, like, on it, the corners and such? Yeah. Remember what I taught you. Hmm? Remember what I taught you with your house. Oh yeah. So you talk about like having it like one block out. Exactly. <sighs> there you go. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> that's good. Eventually. Screw this. Actually, we we definitely want to get that rail system. I think because yeah. we're basically out of wood now. I have some left. Well, same, but that's not enough for the rest of the wood. Rest of it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you want to get started on the rail system then? Yeah. <laughs> We could always start with like a sort of a makeshift rail station. Oh just yeah. For getting things started. Let's see, I don't have any rail materials, so let's just head back and get some materials. <laughs> All right. Why do I have a bunch of chicken eggs? <laughs> All right then. Rail craft. What do we need? We're gonna need routing switch. Which actually made a motor. That's gonna be a receiver circuit. And how many of those are we gonna want? Probably one for now. And we're also gonna need a routing table, which is a book and quill. And blue dye and a uh, golden ticket. Oh, I got another robust, robust uh, tree. A sapling. So we could theoretically plant another, if we want, another thing if we wanted to. All right, round table. Sweet. Um, I'm just gonna have you do it because you know what you're doing. All right. We're also going to need a golden ticket. Cool. That's that. Hi, Enderman. Come here.
We're going to need to figure out a way to fuel our thing. Remember? Oh yeah. Um... Can use transfer nodes on the for for water. What we can use is transfer nodes. Blue transfer nodes. And transfer pipe. Put that over the over the infinite water source with I think a possibly a mining upgrade. For water, you just use a fluid motor, wouldn't you? Yeah. I was thinking of how to get the fluid it into the fluid loader. Oh, place one into two blocks above track. Yeah. Sort of, it's actually really cool when I, like, you place it above and then there's actually like a little pipe that kind of comes down and connects with the train and it loads up the water. Oh, so we should, it should be fine and for it to, for people to pass through. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, it goes above. The train right. itself. Cool. So then we could possibly put it just up uh, here where it's gonna stop. Yeah. But first off, we need to actually get one, which is a tank. We're gonna need brick. Ow! I did look up a thing online. Of how those work. Basically, you place the routing table into the into the switch, and it'll look out for. And you could set up multiple destinations on the same switch or routing table, I should say, and it'll look for any ticket with those those destinations on it, and it'll switch the track. What are you up to? I mean, we could always do what I just said is the actual utilities fluid node, fluid transfer node, and a. I think we're gonna need a mining upgrade. We also want a resonator and possibly a. Let's just get a manual mill going. Cool. And I got. So. This, if we hold right click on it, or just I think actually stop. Just right click it once and look at it, it'll generate grid power. And by doing that, the grid power is just readily available. You don't no wiring or anything required. Oh, I see. And that's the grid power or generated is basically like modules on the Steve's cart. Oops. They're having the modular cost. That's how much you got. And then the things that say use grid power. Those. The. Uh, that's the each module. Well, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. So this gives 15 grid power when it's spinning. It, it doesn't stack. Okay. And that uses... That uses grid power to make stuff. But it depends on what is being made. So what we want... The ba upgrade base. It's a gold pressure plate thrown into the resonator. And it'll use eight grid power to turn it into a upgrade base. It's not doing anything.
Hmm. I thought it was wireless. Ah. The blocks need to be next to it, I think. Anyways, okay. we got a bit upgrade base now. Cool. So what we want to do is combine that with a gold pickaxe, and we got a mining upgrade. All right. So then let's go set set this up. So we want that there, right? Yeah. And then. Have to be filled from the top. It does not look like it. I think. Then we put this right here, and right there, and pop the upgrade in there. And now it's pumping. Slowly but surely. Or is it even? It is, but very slow. We've got about two buckets in there. Hmm. Three buckets. I mean, speed could add speed upgrades, but that require grid power or constant grid power. And this will probably be good enough because it's gonna fill, you know, fill the train. And then, but once the trains aren't here, then. See, look, there's a. Ah! And it fills the train with water. Yay! Uh. Does it? Well, the train was already. Never a bit. Okay, okay. It, it, it. This will emit a redstone signal when it's. So we don't want that. So let's just set it so that it doesn't... Yeah. It's manual, so that it only detects when a player gets in. Ow! <laughs> oh yeah, I probably should have warned you about that. Alright, so our routing is done. So it should now, if we remove it. Aha! It's one way though. Sir? <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> ah, nice. I know what I'm doing. Right, I think you're gonna wanna hop out. Right. Oh, never mind. No, get back in, get back in. Full steam ahead. <laughs> the speed at which you take off, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I better slow down, my house. I'm lagging a little bit. <laughs> well, I, I think today I was locked, but I had it at full speed, so as soon as it unlocked, it just went <laughs> Alright. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. See? 
I'd say that's a good that's a good stopping place for now. Yeah. In the next episode, we'll finish off the rail system. Yeah. Until next time, peace. Yeah. <laughs>